Trial Pad Overview. This video tutorial will provide an overview of the user interface and available tools in TrialPad. When you open a case file, you'll see the Home button and the Select button on the left side at the top. The Home button will bring you back to the Document Manager, where you can open a different case file. The Select button allows you to select a file or multiple files, and then press the Edit button to perform various actions on them. Underneath the Home and Select buttons is the Search field. As you start to type in the Search field, it will filter the document list to only show documents that contain that text in their document name. This is a quick way of finding a document when you know part of its name. This also works for finding Bates numbers if they were assigned in Doc Review Pad. After typing in the Search field, if you press the Return key on the keyboard, it will also search the text within documents that have been OCR which are identified with a magnifying glass icon next to the file name, and filters out any documents that don't match the search criteria. The number of search hits is displayed in a red circle beside each folder or document. Press on the folder and or document to see the results of your search. Under the search field are four filters that allow you to sort and organize how documents are displayed in the document list. The default filter is Name, which lists your files alphabetically from A to Z. Pressing the Name button again will reverse the sort order to be from Z to A. The small arrow indicates the current sort order. The custom filter allows you to reorder and display your files in any order you want. After pressing the Custom button, tap on the Select button and drag the files up or down using the three horizontal grab lines. Then press Done when finished. Pressing the Custom button again will reverse the custom sort order. Once you mark a file as admitted or assign an exhibit sticker to a document, pressing the Admitted or Exhibit Number Filter buttons will filter the list to only display files that match these criteria. We'll cover marking documents as admitted and assigning exhibit stickers later in this video. As with the other filter buttons, each time you press the admitted or exhibit number button, it will reverse the sort order. On the left side at the very bottom are three tabs where your documents, multimedia, and key docs are located. Any imported documents or photos will be imported into the Documents tab. Video or audio files you import will be placed in the Multimedia tab. And Key Docs is where saved references to your documents, photos, audio, and video files will be located. For an in-depth explanation of Key Docs, please see the separate trial pad video called Key Docs Explained. When you're in the Documents tab, your list of documents and folders will be shown on the left side. Underneath this list is a plus button. When pressed, the plus button gives you the options to import documents or import folder. The supported file types for TrialPad are Adobe Acrobat PDF, TIFF, JPEG, PNG, TXT, as well as various video and audio formats. Our best practices recommendation is to use the Adobe Acrobat PDF format for all documents and photographs whenever possible. For details on importing files, please see the separate video called Importing Evidence. Other options are Create New Folder to help you organize your documents, Add Photo to import a photo from your photo library, or take a photo with the iPad camera, useful for a last-minute document scan, and Add Map to create and save an Apple Maps image of any location. If you choose to Add Photo or Add Map, TrialPad will automatically create a TrialPad Photos or TrialPad Maps folder to hold the respective files. Next to the plus button is the Reports button. When pressed, the Reports button shows three report options. Evidence List will generate a PDF file listing of all the documents, multimedia, and key docs in the case. The generated report will be saved to a Reports folder in the topmost level of the case file. We will cover the presentation log and presenter notes reports in a separate trial pad video called Presenting Evidence. 
On the right side of the screen is the preview window, which displays the document selected in the document list. In the lower portion of the preview window are the previous page and next page buttons, and the page slider. These buttons and the slider disappear and reappear each time you tap in the preview window. The page slider shows the page number you're viewing and the number of pages in the current document. You can drag the page slider to scroll through the pages. If you know the page number you want to go to, you can tap on the page number indicator to reveal the jump to page option. Then type in the page number and press return. On the right side of the preview window are the previous document and next document buttons and the document slider. The document slider shows the document number you're viewing and the number of documents in the current view. You can drag the document slider to scroll through the documents and as you do this, the documents will be highlighted in the document list to indicate which document will be displayed when you let go. It's important to remember that page navigation is horizontal and document navigation is vertical. Using finger gestures within the preview window, you'll swipe left and right to cycle through the pages in a document and swipe up and down to cycle through the documents in the current view. Above the preview window are various features and annotation tools. Starting from the left side is the expand button, which will collapse the document list, allowing the preview window to fill the screen. With the document list hidden, when you zoom in on a page, it can fill the width of the entire screen. Press the Documents button to bring back the document list and the ability to select a different document. The next tool is the Rotate button, which allows you to rotate the current page or all pages of the current document in 90 degree increments. To the right of the Rotate button are six buttons for tools that will assist you in annotating and presenting evidence. They are Call Out, Highlight, Pin, Redact, laser, and note. A separate trial pad video called Presenting Evidence covers the use of these tools in detail and much more. To the right of these tools is the bookmark button. To add a bookmark to multi-page documents, tap on the button. Press Add Bookmark. Type in a custom name. Then, press the Bookmark Confirmation button. Next is the powerful Key Doc button to make the current page, or the entire document, a Key Doc. The Key Doc tools and features will be covered in the separate trial pad video called Key Docs Explained. The last button is the Action button, which allows you to perform various actions on the current page, or the entire document, such as printing a page, or saving the document to a cloud storage provider. On the right side at the bottom is the Clear button, which will clear all the annotations on the current page. To the left of that is the Undo button, which will undo any highlight, pin, or redact annotations in the reverse order that they were applied. To the left of the Undo button is the Split Screen Indicator and Button. Tapping on the right side image of two pages will allow you to present two documents side by side. Whatever document is currently being displayed will be moved to the left side of the screen, allowing you to add another document or another page from the current document to the right side. The separate trial pad video, Presenting Evidence, will also cover the use of Split Screen Mode. Moving across the bottom of the screen, next we have the Snapshot button, which will create a snapshot of the contents of the preview window, including any callouts or annotations. You can have a custom name for each snapshot, and TrialPad will automatically place it in a Snapshots folder. 
Snapshots are useful to create an image of a document with a callout or highlight that you may want to incorporate into a Word file for a motion or use in a separate PowerPoint presentation. The other buttons to the left under the preview window are the output switch with the blank, freeze, and present options and the presentation log button. The blank, freeze, and present options become active when the output switch is turned on and the output switch can only be turned on when the iPad is connected to an output device, such as a projector or television. Please see the separate trial pad video called Presenting Evidence for a full explanation of these tools and options. During the course of a trial, you may want to mark a document as admitted or assign an exhibit sticker. To mark a document as admitted, press and hold on the document in the preview window. A popover will appear where you can tap on Mark Admitted. When pressed, a small green admitted label will appear in the cell for the document in the document list. The same popover has an option for Assign Exhibit Sticker, which will open the Exhibit Sticker popover. The powerful Exhibit Sticker tool has several options, and each of these options will be retained for the case you're working on, so you don't have to enter the same information each time you assign an Exhibit Sticker. You have the choice of five different colors, and the exhibit sticker can be placed in any of the four corners of the document. The options on the exhibit sticker itself are the header, where you might enter the case style, title, commonly used for the word exhibit, the prefix, which can be used to enter extra information, such as plaintiff or defendant. Then you have the start number or letter. TrialPad will automatically increment the exhibit number or letter each time you add another exhibit sticker. But you can always override the suggestion as long as the number or letter is not already in use. Lastly, you have the footer at the bottom, which is commonly used for the case number. In the bottom portion of this popover, you have the options to assign the exhibit sticker to every page of the document and to add an incremental number for each page. You've seen how you can mark a document as admitted or assign an exhibit sticker to a document. Both of these processes can also be applied to many documents in one quick action. Press the Select button and tap on multiple documents to select them, or press the Select All button. Press the Edit button at the bottom. Then tap on Mark Admitted or Assign Exhibit Sticker. Tapping on Mark Admitted will immediately mark all documents as admitted. Tapping on Assign Exhibit Sticker will open the Exhibit Sticker popover where you can choose the starting number or letter. And then tap on Apply so that the numbers or letters will instantly be applied to all the selected documents sequentially. After you apply exhibit stickers to your documents, you may want to export them as a set for co-counsel or opposing counsel, or provide a copy to the court. You can do this by pressing Select, selecting the documents, tap on Edit, then pressing Export. After you confirm by tapping on Export Items, the exported documents can be saved to a connected USB drive, or to your On My iPad or iCloud Drive storage locations.